met a lady. He didn't know what a family or dreams were. Now you do. The first and foremost, if you can't read, you can't do 10th grade math. If you can't read, you can't do your science project. And if you can't read, it's really, really difficult to become part of our American society. Our foundation has been focusing on education for about 15 years. We still focus on uh, literacy, but now we do it with digital ink. Our kids have changed, and the modality has changed, and the way we deliver it has changed, so we need to change with it. So we've partnered with organizations who are on the cutting edge of that change. There's this unbelievable synergy of leadership here and visionaries at UCF, and that's where the change starts. John and Carrie Morgridge were very much interested in how can they support the university, and how can we bring these classrooms into the 21st century. It's new territory. If we built this International Reading Center, what would you expect from it? The main information that came from the focus group was people want to be informed of what's going on in different parts of the world, what's going on in the U.S., and what kind of professional learning opportunities can the center provide. The Mortgage International Reading Center is, is really going to be very high tech because we're also looking at it as serving as a model for 21st century classrooms as well. The possibilities are endless because of the technology. Technology is a huge part of the Mortgage and National Reading Center because we, we're finding that that's our way to become global and that's the way that we can communicate and collaborate with our partners. Welcome everyone to our Global Schools Executive Exchange. We're so excited we have um, Cisco's telepresence. The actual system will be installed in a second floor room that is a conference size room. But then it will be able to be um, displayed in our large local assemblies room on the first floor. We'll have interactive whiteboards and computers and flat screen panels and so for us it's a way to get information across and to display but it's also an interactive thing so that when people visit the gallery space they'll be able to come in and explore as a museum but then unlike a museum they'll be able to, to walk up to an interactive whiteboard and um, access areas that they're particularly interested in. How do you figure out a big word, one that's really hard? I do it bit by bit. What do you mean, bit by bit? How do you do that? You put, you just say, pit stop, pit stop. Oh, so you just sound it out, you break it down. Like that, like just pit stop. We know that there are countries around the world that have high literacy rates, literacy rates above ours. We know that we can learn from other countries. We're hoping to draw in experts from all over the world so that we can enhance our teaching and learning here. We're also seeing the International Reading Center as a place where literacy research occurs. And so we have plans to have ongoing research being done and conducted in the center. The mortgages have funded a grant for me to do some research related to a nonprofit that's near and dear to their heart called Book Trust. They actually provide funds for students to purchase books that they would not be able to purchase otherwise. Right now you're just looking for books that you think you would like. And in 2008, they started to do that in nine Orange County public schools. Where UCF comes in and the grant is that this has been going on now for 11 years, and there really isn't a lot of research to show the impact. Every state in the nation has some sort of book awards where they highlight either books that are set in that particular state or the author comes from that state. We will be highlighting you know, all 50 states and then there's also the international branch of that as well. We wanted to bring prominent authors here for people in Orlando to enjoy and also our students and faculty. So in April of 2010, we had our first inaugural UCF Book Festival. Um, in honor of the Mortgage International Reading Center. As an international reading center, we are committed to not only providing the information, but then educating. Here's the spectrum of, of answers that you may want, and helping them work through how they can find the answers that they're looking for. It's really a, a conduit you know, and a catalyst for information on a global level, on current and appropriate literacy instruction for the classroom. We're all grappling with what are the best ways to teach reading? What are the, what are the ways that support literacy? 
you know, learning from our counterparts, I think, is going to be the most powerful. We have huge hopes for the Mortgage International Reading Center, that it becomes an innovative, creative think tank. I am really looking forward to what the future looks like and coming back and hopefully having this conversation in five years from now and saying, oh, look what we did. It was just an idea.